What's up, Guru Gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a cold beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum, and enjoy my reaction to episode 13 uh, of the original movie that uh, that spun off into a series. This series, The Crow Stairway to Heaven, uh, like I said, it was a spin off to the original movie. Um, the Crow, st uh, the Crow, starring um, um, Brandon Lee, and this one is the series is starring um, uh, Mark Dacascos, as you know of um, uh, Iron Chef, uh, and this episode is titled "The um, The People versus Eric Draven," and um, yeah, coming off from last episode, Albright had no choice um, but to arrest um, Eric for um, the murder. Of uh, Shelley Webster, his one true love. So um, he'll be hauled into court and um, be tried for, uh, like I said, the murder of her. But um, as we all know, um, he, he he was killed alongside um, Shelley Webster, um, thrown out the window. So um, uh, he has to defend himself, and um, he may have to reveal that. Um, he is undead, um, came back from the dead. So let's not waste any time and um, get into the reaction part itself. But before we do, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel for all things anime, link right up there. Check that out. Help support that channel. Just support this channel, which I greatly appreciate. Let's get that up uh, to 370. And it's all up to you, the guru, uh, the for those who are not part of the Guru Gang yet, um, come on in um, and be part of it. Uh, get a celebratory um, fist tap, high five, and um, once we get to uh, 370, we'll do a celebratory Perfect Strangers, um, a Coast and Larry Appleton, and um, Balky Bar Talk about Dance of Joy, and one additional um, celebration um, uh, dance or whatever. It's all up to you guys um, that are, are watching who haven't been part or, or not part of the Guru Gang. Like I said, um, whatever, uh, I'll probably add one more to that um, uh, celebratory uh, Perfect Strangers Dance of Joy um, uh, celebration dance. Um, it's, just, it's just like I said, it's all up to you. In any case, like I said, if you enjoyed any other content for your channel, Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And when it comes to the full link reaction of this episode, post to my Patreon, and that link along with my social media links also underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode number 13, which I'm looking forward to. It's been a while since I've seen this series. And this is the this is the episode that I most remember. So, and without further ado, let's get into episode number thirteen: The People versus Eric Draven. Looking forward to it. Um, all right, uh, here we go. Eric Draven, you're under arrest for the yeah, Albright had no choice. You must be Eric. Uh, I'm James Sand, Public Defender's Office. The court has appointed me your entire legal team, Mr. Draven. Do you know why you're here? He's arrested. You were arrested. Case 51754, Eric Draven charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Like to tell me what happened? Well, he died. <laughs> Shelly, my girlfriend, and I wanted to celebrate how we felt about each other with our own kind of ceremony. This is some sort of marriage. If it was, there wasn't much of a honeymoon. Hmm. She got killed. And I got thrown through a 16th floor window. That's news to him. <laughs> and he doesn't believe him. Please, don't want to start the relationship with a lot. I didn't do it. Okay. He's just there to defend him. He gets paid to do it. Would you care to tell me what happened in the uh, 16th story window? He died. Remember his breaking glass. But I did end up on the street. Alone in some strange place. Alone. Except for this big crow. I followed it. And then I saw her. More beautiful than ever. Well, you're telling me that you died and went to some kind of heaven. Is 
The bridge to the other side. <laughs> He has to show him that he's undead. <laughs> Prove it to everybody. Hmm. Candles. Crow shaped. Oh, it's Sarah. Burn the place down? You don't you. I have no clue. You seen him? Yeah. Why haven't you? You wouldn't let me speak to him even if I were on the force, and the fact is I'm still suspended. Still got a better off than you, Mike. Hey, I want to help him too. Why don't you talk to your girlfriend? Cordelia's with the DA's office, but she's not in the process. It's complicated. Of conflict of interest, which is not really an issue anyway because she's not really talking to me much these days. I am not discussing my relationship with the 13 year old. Hmm. She moved on, huh? Oh, yep. They broke up. You have to say whatever it takes to help Eric. This is a murder trial, Sarah. You take an oath on the stand to tell the That's whole truth and nothing but. They can impeach you later. You answer exactly what they ask you. You don't offer anything, but you don't lie. You're such a jerk. Hmm. It's not over yet. I think uh, Albright still feels guilty for um for arresting him. He knows he's uh, Eric's innocent. <laughs> She's skipping school. Yeah. Eric in a suit. District of Fort Columbia, case number five one seven five four. The People versus Eric Draven. Shelley Webster was twenty three years old. Murder. The word seems strangely inadequate to describe the violence perpetrated on this beautiful young woman, but fortunately, a video camera in the room recorded everything. What you're about to see is a little tough to watch, but we have to. Oh, Eric reliving it again. Doesn't want to, but he has to. Shelley Webster was then raped and savagely beaten. What about the defendant? That should be proof enough he's alive. Thrown 16 stories to his death, according to the official police report. But who's this sitting over here looking so... Eric Draven. <laughs> I will prove to you that Eric Draven is not only very much alive, but an extremely jealous man with a vicious temper, a gothic rocker, obsessed with death and destruction, that he named his band The Hangman's Joke. So that's the prosecution's but case? Faked his own death, and he thought he got away. It will be your job to prove to him that he hasn't. It's a tough thing administering justice, but a young woman, Shelley Webster, was cut down in the prime of her life brutally, and someone should pay for that crime. Eric Drayton may not look act or talk like your next door neighbor but he's not on trial for being different he's on trial for murder it's a crime he didn't commit the prosecution must prove the defendant murdered shelly webster beyond a reasonable doubt the only thing beyond a reasonable doubt in this case is the fact that eric draven loved shelly webster that's the truth a man shows up who looks exactly like Eric Draven, but there's no hard evidence it's him. Did you have any other theories, Detective? Only that he might have been some morbid fan posing as Draven. Did those prints match up with those on file as Eric Draven's, Detective? They did. Yes. Thank you. Detective, you were at the actual crime scene and saw the body that went through the window. Is that correct? Yes. And you thought that that was Eric Draven. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Was his face recognizable? No, but it was Draven's loft. His ID was on the body, and Shelley kept asking about him right up to the end. She was more concerned with him than she was herself. Now, a year later, a man walks up to you and tells you he's Eric Draven. See, that's going to be a problem for me, because I'm going to need specifics. Places, phone numbers, people who can corroborate your story. There is no story. Oh. No alibi. 
Is that rare among murder suspects in your experience, detective? In my experience, even guys caught in the act have an alibi. Hmm. You ask him where he's been for a year, and he doesn't remember. Your suspicions are confirmed, is that right? Not exactly. What do you mean? He didn't lie. He didn't lie? Most guys who murder their girlfriends and stage their own deaths to cover up their involvement don't come around and tell you who they are. I mean, why give it up that easy if you're going to go to all that trouble in the first place? You employ him, didn't you? Employees employ the way they use. Well, I mean, I, I mean, he was a source of yours. Yeah, but I never paid him. And this free information, was it helpful? It led to several arrests. So, in fact, the defendant, Eric Draven, has been helping the police. You can say that. Thank you. He's buying a conspiracy, man. You see those eyes rolling? Excuse me for doing my job. job yeah, Eric's not satisfied with his defense. Draven, my job is to prove that the prosecution case sucks. Beyond a reasonable doubt. What's Eric going to do? Are you stick with a pencil? <laughs> Don't do anything stupid, Eric. He oh, he's going to show him. He's going to be turned into the crow persona. Oh, that's, that's something. Stick a pencil in his hand. All right. No, just show him um, his powers. His healing factor. Kind of like Wolverine. <laughs> Sir. Hello, James. Sir, you got to get me off this case. Yeah, he wants out. Yes. But you're you're all, you're in no matter what. Step aside too. We can look around for a case we like better. He scares the hell out of me. You handle the Shankar defense. The Bergen Falls butcher. That guy was scary. Yeah, I know, I know. But this guy, he's he's different. He's not normal. I mean, does your boss want you to quit? No. Do I want you to quit? No. Does the prosecution want you to quit? Probably. But screw them. This is a big case, James. Was that his mentor? You're a very smart lawyer. Lord knows this guy needs one. Now, if you want extra security, I'll arrange it. But you are not excused. He's not quitting on you, so don't quit on him. Eric, I mean. Inside, Eric and me. At the funeral, I played one of our songs. He's crying like a baby the whole way through it. He came to see you a year after his alleged death. What was your reaction? Me and the band thought it was some sicko. Trying to look like Eric. Did he tell you where he had been for a year? No, all he cared about was that we were playing one of his songs without his permission. <laughs> you believe that? There are a lot of things in this case I find incredible, Mr. Bilbao. Objection. Hmm. Sustained. Tell me about the I dislike this uh, prosecuting attorney. You characterize the relationship between Shelley and Eric? Intense. Hmm. Are you saying Eric Draven loved Shelley Webster? More than life itself. Thank you, Mr. Bilbao. No further questions, Your Honor. All right, this court will recess for 30 minutes. No more, no less. Where got next? George James. Fun boy. Uh oh, fun boy. It's on tape. Who's going to believe him? He says his old lady's cheating on him. That would be Shelly Webster. Yeah. Yeah, he said her name was Shelly. Anyway, he says he wants me to kill the bitch. He's lying. He said if I didn't do his dirty work for him, He'd hand over a tape made of what went on in the office. Don't turn the crow. You don't well, do it. it uh, prove his, his uh, powers. He said he'd show the tape to the cops. He's lying. I'm sorry, Your Honor. That won't happen again. You better not. Fun boy's having fun with this. Because he's on trial. Please continue. Payback. Mr. Jameson. Out of nowhere, Draven hits me from behind. Threatens to kill me if I don't give back the ten grand he paid us for the job. I told him I didn't have the money. Well, I can understand why he might want you dead. Why did the defendant insist that you pay back the blood money he gave you to kill Shelley Webster? He said the bitch didn't suffer enough. Oh. That's not good. For his defense, his outburst, try to attack the witness. Short recess with my client. You think some little parlor trick with a pencil is going to protect you from from a lethal injection? You don't believe me? Turn to the crow. Why should I? Because it's the truth. I think you've been lying to me from the get-go. I think you've been lying to me about where you've been. 
I think you've been lying to me about what's happened. Do it. You've been lying to me about the precious little Shelly Webster. Show him. Lie to the cops. Lie to the prosecution. Lie to yourself. But do not lie to me. You had her killed, didn't you? Just like they said. Shut up! And you He's agitating him. You make yourself look good. Rolling him up. You had her killed. And then you had the nerve to come back here and walk around like nothing happened. What that poor girl ever do to you besides you? There we go. Crow shows up. Huh? There we go. I don't think he's involved. Hello there. <laughs> Look, whatever you are, an angel of some kind. I don't want to know. All I need to know is that you are not going to freak out this court again. That was a fascinating story, Mr. Jameson. But there is just one question I have to ask you. Just exactly what kind of deal did the prosecution offer you to concoct this fantasy? Not a fantasy. No, not the part about you and your buddies raping and murdering Shelley Webster. That and the ten other murders you took souvenirs from, like the tape we saw in the courtroom. Objection, Your Honor. The witness is not on trial. Mr. Jameson has not been convicted of murder or anything else as of yet. Well, then how about taking off the shackles, Your Honor? You might as well hang a guilty sign around my client. This courtroom is my home away from home, Mr. Sandler. One boy smirking. Hey, Darla. Young lady, you are in serious trouble. Not as much trouble as I'm in. Who's this? This is Eric's lawyer. James Sam. Nice to meet you, Miss Moore. What do you want with my daughter? What? I need Sarah to testify. She has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, she knows Eric Draven, the character witness for my client. Please, Mom. I want to. Eric is my friend. Yeah, and I'm your mother. No, she's going back to school where she belongs. She's Mom, protecting her. He says he's going to force her. Then she's going to have to. But what does Sarah know about any of this? I know she's crazy about this guy, but what about poor Shelly? Do you think he killed her? No. I don't really either. But then again, I'm not the world's best judge of Eric helped her. Um, get I clean. I'm Fun Boy put on quite a show. I'm spending more time with Fun Boy than my own daughter. Big freak. Just big bird. black bird for me. At least that's what I thought. Hey! It might have been the booms. I don't know. And a strange person comes after me. Well, there's a name for God in the hearts and minds of all children. I thought I was dead near that part. But when he touched me, it was like I saw all my sins. This is her reality check. I didn't realize it till just now, but that's when I decided to get sober. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I'm going on like this. Doesn't have much to do with what's going on in there. Well, sometimes things are connected in ways we can't see. I will tell you this much. Sarah's not wrong to think that Draven's a decent man. If this Draven person's been kind to Sarah, I guess that's a step up from most of the adults she's met. Yeah. Shelly kind of looked after me when, you know, my mom wasn't feeling right. Was, uh, was Shelly your best friend? No. Eric was her best friend. Sarah, um, how do you feel about the people who murdered Shelly Webster? They burn in hell. Yeah, tell the truth. trial for the murder of Shelly Webster, correct? Yeah. When Eric returned, um, did he tell you why? So, are you, like, an angel now, or what? Too late for me to be an angel. They're gonna pay for what they did to Shelly. To find the man who killed Shelly and make them pay. Oh, okay. Just on the truth. Sarah, do you think you might have glamorized Eric Draven? After all, he was the only adult. In the Trying room. to throw off nice um, Sarah. He was nice to Getting me. emotional. Was a nice Did the defendant tell you where he'd been since the night of the attack? You answer exactly what they ask you. Don't ah. Anything. Okay. But you don't lie. I guess he did. Would you kindly share with us what the defendant said? Taking Albright's advice. Webster. There you go. Did the defendant talk to him? You are under oath, Sarah. What did the defendant say she told him? Just go and say it. Set things right. Yeah. 
so. Eric Draven said that he came back to life to save the world. What? Their case right there. Vigilante. Come back in order to, um, kill people. When I found out all those excuses you gave me for breaking dates or showing up late were lies, a little part of me died. Yeah. No longer trusts him. Yeah, complicated relationship. Attorney and cop. Conflict of interest? Is that more important to you than everything we have? Everything we have? Or is it past tense already? I don't give a damn about my career. I give a damn about you and me. What about us, Cordy? What about you and me? He's fighting for their relationship. Get the That's a maybe. Oh, there's the kiss. Okay. Still a possibility. <laughs> we offer up the, uh, the brains behind the police conspiracy to catch you. Daryl Albright. Oh. No, he's going to betray uh, Albright. His lawyer wants to. Throw Albright under the bus. There's loyalty there with Albright with Eric. This is my closing statement. But I won't be using it. He won't let me. You know, there isn't one single shred of material evidence that will support a charge against the Eric Draven. Not one. And he can't explain where he's been for a year. He's suspicious. Now, to satisfy their suspicions, the police have concocted a theory of their own, but he won't let me stand up here and counter one theory with another. Plays rock and roll, dresses in black, likes his hair long, on trial because he doesn't know what happened to him after Shelley Webster was murdered. Hard to understand, ladies and gentlemen. He won't lie about what he doesn't know. He won't even let me stand up here and spin a good yarn to, to, to help his case. And now the prosecution. Would have you believe that is evidence of a crime? I disagree. I hope you do too. Thank you. Hopefully that'll sway the jury. If not, huh? Well, Eric's screwed. Thank you. I know they leaned on you pretty good about giving me up. I you heard about that. Forced you to be my hand on the street. Probably offered you a deal to roll on. Don't worry. I didn't come here to apologize or, or thank you. So you just missed me, huh? Yeah. Jury's back. Here we go. Foreman of the jury, have you made your decision? In the case of the People versus Eric Draven, with respect to the charge of conspiracy to commit murder, we have found the defendant guilty. Yep. He's guilty. It's a bad part. We'll appeal. Eric Draven Appealing. will be remanded to the county lockup and will be returned to this court in 14 days for sentencing. That's a death sentence in itself. And Eric trying to um, figure it all out. Oh! Shelly in the court. Shelly there for him. All right, episode thirteen. Um the people versus Eric Draven, and um, in this episode we find him in jail, um, and uh, meeting up with his defense attorney um, that the uh, the court hired for him, and even his his, def his own defense attorney doesn't believe him, um, but he's only there to defend him the best way he can, um, and uh, he ends up um, just basically finding out that Eric is actually um, acted the truth. He's actually dead. He died, and um, it kind of threw him off to the point where he wanted off the case, but um, the judge who's presiding over the case um, told him to not to do to not do that. I mean, I think it was like his mentor or something like that, and um, he 
encourages him to just keep going on um, with the case and do his best to defend him. And while the prosecution is spinning this um, yarn that he was a jealous lover, his uh, temper tantrums, is angry, uh, jealous, and um, he faked his own death. And, um, and, uh, it, uh, it, well, it's not what, uh, what, it didn't go well at all. Um, especially when they, when the prosecution, um, asked, uh, had, um, Fun Boy, um, uh, on the stand. And Fun Boy just, um, basically lied, uh, perjured himself by just, uh, uh, sharing with the court that, um, Eric paid him to throw, uh, to, fake his death, and kill uh, Shelly. Uh, and um, that did, uh, when, 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 that's some, one of the things that uh, I uh, forgot about when it comes to this um, this episode that I most remember. Um, yeah, there, what I most remember is the case, but um, Fun Boy actually uh, lying about uh, Eric um, uh, paying him to uh, kill Shelly was... Uh, was um, dastardly, and he's going to be um, paid for that. Um, hopefully, for what he for what he said for just basically lying on the stand. And um, when um, when Sarah took the stand, she basically told the truth and encouraged by Albright to do it. And um, although uh, it was a uh, as a tall tale, and according to uh, most of the people in the courtroom who just um, just uh, laughed at the at the sheer um, absurdity of um, him lying of, of of Eric Draven being dead all this time, um, but um, yeah, um, something's gonna happen that uh, hopefully um, we'll have him uh, some evidence because that's what I most remember of um, the, the series that Eric somehow gets out of jail. I forgot how, but. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, um, and then, um, by, by, uh, unfortunately he gets convicted of, um, or sentenced, to, he's guilty, I mean, of, um, of, uh, Shelly's death, so, uh, and then we have, and Shelly's there in spirit, and so, I don't know, uh, it, after this episode, that's what I mainly forgot, so, I hope we'll look. I uh, hope we're looking forward to the next episode and uh, finding out what actually happens um, because I, it's been so long since I've seen this up series that what I most remember was the court case uh, of him being convicted and him showing the uh, his defense attorney that he he's actually dead. Um, the the the, um, the pencil through his hand and him showing that he's a crow after. Um, after the defense attorney just basically wanted to um, uh, actually riled him up, um, uh, and uh, to the point where he actually turned into the crow, and then at at, at one point um, wanted to uh, uh, talk to Eric about throwing actually um, throwing Albright under the bus in order to save himself, but he wanted to do that, and uh, and the, the defense attorney just basically just wanted to just. Um, spin a yarn against the police, against Albright, but um, uh, Eric just encourages, just encourages him to just tell the truth. Just um, let him know that he's an innocent man. He's been dead all this time. And at one point, I thought I was going to show him um, how Eric is actually a, a crow, and he's actually dead. So use, use that um, the, the pencil through the hand defense, but who knows. But... Um, I'm look, like I said, looking forward to episode 14. Um, look out for that. <coughs> uh, in the case, if you're in, the, when it comes to the full-length reaction of this episode, post it on my Patreon and that link along my social media links. Post it underneath this video in the description section. Um, hope you enjoyed my reaction. Um, uh, and uh, uh, Or any of my other reactions, past 12 reactions of uh, The Crow Stairway to Heaven. Um, in my sci-fi section on my Intersect channel. Um, if you enjoyed any of that or any of my other reaction uh, sections for um, sci-fi, um, Marvel, which I just did a recent reaction to um, uh, the, the series premiere of uh, Marvel's Secret Invasion. Uh, episode 1 is up there already. Then there's um, 
uh, 80s One Season Wonder. We'll get back to that. Um, uh, to the Silverhawks, uh, my childhood, as many of those of a certain age. Um, Star Wars, um, and uh, many other uh, posts in there. And then there's my YG Anime Channel for All Things Anime. Getting back to that as well. Hopefully uh, posting up uh, new reactions to um, uh, Demon Slayer, um, uh, yes, Josh Amy, Princess Half Demon. Also, my reaction to um, uh, uh, Bleach, A Thousand Year War. And like, in any case, like I said, if you enjoyed either react, oh, the link for the my YG Anime channel is right up there. And like I said, if you enjoyed either co uh, content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And um, like I said, tip my hat. Uh, 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 thank you for your support. Tip my hat to you. Here's a celebratory fist tap, high five. Do the uh, dance of joy later. Uh, that's for uh, special occasions when it comes to um, um, uh, subscribers. Uh, and um, and uh, we're trying to reach that uh, mile marker of 370. It's all up to you guys. Be part of the Guru Gang. Dance of joys galore and many more. And others as well. Other types of celebration dances or celebrations in general. In the case, like I said, until um, next time for episode 14 of uh, The Crow's Stairway to Heaven. Alright, later.